Hello Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of May. To get a better understanding from where these energies are coming from, my reading. So, do uh, read the description below so you understand where my energies come from and you get a better view within this reading. And to not further stall, I will pull out a diamond. Um, this is the issue for you this month. Um, or uh, the matter of hand or anything or the question you have for yourself these are the inside influences which you are unaware of these are the influences from outside you are aware of uh, this is what is needed for a solution to the question or the matter and this is what resolves uh, or comes clear when the solution is uh, coming over uh, clear or something and after that uh, this reading I will pull um, a Zen Osho tarot card and read from the booklet that comes along with it to further clarify your reading and to not further stall we go out with the question so a question for you Gemini is the eight of swords meaning you have um, some st still some um, unresolved or invis invisible cage of you of your so the suit of swords in this deck means the eight of swords is a crisis uh, so a critical moment discussions bad news perhaps you will have to review your decisions and commitments in order to make your dream come true so I am a Gemini so I know there is a important discussion coming up so maybe you have this too coming uh, a, a bad an important uh, conversation with somebody in the near future or something else this is definitely my energy sorry for that um, but so uh, to not stall further let's continue so you have an influence which you are unaware of is the dead card and the dead card is all about change so the change be willing to change your mentality and your habits in order to make your dream come true if one road leads to nowhere take another one so I am definitely taking another road with do starting these readings these are my first readings so Gemini you are also starting something new sorry for that you are also starting something new and the influence you do are aware of is the, is the, the excuse me brain fart it's the knave or the knight of pentacles so it's all about uh, ju uh, not judgment excuse me it's all about uh, coming uh, oh. Uh, excuse me uh, being a student instruction and meditation intellectual work so definitely need to improve on uh, using my uh, communication skills as a Gemini so definitely do some more student work I uh, will definitely have to do that on the tarot readings so this is so suiting me if you want your dream to come true act cautiously so I will definitely keep that in mind and what is needed for a solution is the world the world card and it comes in reverse I don't really look at reverse or not so this card also came in the reverse so the world card is completion in some way fulfillment soon you will be faced with a series of favorable circumstances that will finally make your dream come true fulfilling all your hopes and aspirations so that is a, a, a good sign card that you will if you continue on the path of contemplation and a change and seeing your invisible hindrances excuse me you will definitely fulfill your uh, life goals so the solution that comes clear when you persist in those is um, the bachelor in this card and that is the knight of wands 
So the Knight of Wands is a fiery energy and I will read it out firstly. The Bachelor, in order to make your dream come true you will have to make a quick decision concerning a change. Potential help from a person outside the family. So, and for Gemini, the point of focus with this Osho Zen Tarot card. I will quickly draw uh, if a card comes up with shuffling. So, the point of focus, focus that will reveal you to paradoxes. Uh, I do, this is the card presenting itself, it's politics. So, I will not stall and go to the, so you here, let's see the politics card, you see the snake, and the snake is uh, clouded, it's, uh, and in brown, and you see like a face mask, and a guy hiding from behind it, so definitely to do it politics, and the politics card is the seven of clouds, and the seven of clouds is a minor arcana, uh, politics 130 Do you recognize this man? All but the most innocent and sincere of us have a politician lurking somewhere in our minds. In fact, the mind is political. Its very nature is to plan and scheme and to try manipulate situations and people so that I, it can get what it wants. Here the mind is represented by the snake covered with clouds and speaking with a forked tongue. But the important thing is to realize about this card is that both faces are false. The sweet, innocent, trust me face is a mask and the evil, toxic, I'll have my way with you face is a mask. 2. Politicians don't have real faces. The whole game is a lie. Take a good look at yourself to see if you have been playing this game. What you see might be painful, but not as painful as continuing to play. It doesn't serve anybody's interest in the end, least of all yours. Whatever you might achieve in this way will just turn to dust in your hands. So, anybody who can be a good pretender, a hypocrite, will become your leader politically, will become your priest religiously, and that is, and that he needs is hip. All that he needs is hypocrisy, and that he needs is cunningness. All that he needs is a facade to hide behind. Your politicians live double lives, your priests live double lives. One from the front door, the other from the back door. And the back door life is their real life. The front door smiles are just false, those faces looking so innocent are just cultivated. If you want to see the reality of the politician, you will have to see the, him from his back door. There he is in his nudity, as he is, and so is the priest. These two kinds of cunning people have dominated humanity, and they found out very early on that the, if you want to dominate humanity, make it weak, make it feel guilty, make it feel unworthy, destroy its dignity, take all glory away from it, humiliate it, and they have found such subtle ways of humiliation that they don't come in the picture at all. They leave it to you to humiliate yourself, to destroy yourself. They have taught you a kind of slow suicide. Wow. Well, Gemini and myself, a perfect reading to end here and definitely if your point of focus is politics and uh, to resolve issues you, then uh, yeah it just says enough and I will need to read that again for myself thanks for watching